and the Nets come from 17 down to pull off a come from behind victory to take a three games to two advantage over the Milwaukee Bucks in this Eastern Conference semis. Wow. Frank Isola, Sarah Kustak, Michael Grady here with you. We saw tonight one of the greatest postseason performances of all time. Kevin Durant, 48 minutes played in this game, 49 points, 10 assists, 17 rebounds. Kind of hard to come up with adjectives describe, Sarah, just how amazing Kevin Durant was tonight. It was a masterpiece. And to think about all Kevin Durant has endured in trying to come back and be where he at, is at at this point in the postseason to do so without Kyrie Irving with James Harden playing 46 minutes yes but not looking like the James Harden that we have often been accustomed to seeing he was absolutely extraordinary and this will go down as one of the greatest playoff performances that we have had the pleasure to witness yeah it was inspiring on so many levels it was a virtuoso performance by Kevin Durant. Make no mistake about it. He made one mistake. He missed a free throw late, which would have given him 50 <laughs> points. Other than the crowd groaned because everyone wanted to see him do it. To play at that level in a game five, and your team was down 17 with 19 minutes to go in this game, and they outscored Milwaukee 57 to 34. For Kevin Durant, one of the all time greatest performances. But a couple of guys, Jeff Green off the charts, and then James Harden. James Harden did not have it tonight, but he was out there for 46 minutes. So everybody talk about leadership all you want. It's not about yelling in the locker room. It's going out there and playing like that when you really don't have it and gutting it out for 46 minutes. You want to talk about inspiring, and a guy that wanted it, that oh, was James Harden. Uh, come on now. He was out yesterday. Yeah. Out. On the status report, out. <laughs> Doubtful this morning, questionable this afternoon, was going to test it out in warm-ups, going to give it a go, and Sarah plays 46 minutes. Again, how important was just his presence in being out there on the court and what it was able to do for this team on an off-shooting night? Everything. Everything. And, and even Steve Nash in his pregame press conference said, oh, we're going to support him <laughs> because James wants to be out there. It is very clear that, you know, they knew that James Harden was not 100% health-wise, but to your point, Frank, just the absolutely inspirational build up that that brought to his team and how he was able to direct things I, I think despite the shooting performance we saw so many moments in particular in the second half the third quarter as the Nets really built back and then took the lead of how he was directing things some of the passes yeah. he was going to make important defensive plays when needed and to think about the fact that uh, not even given the the injury but to not be in a game for yeah. a stretch of where were we at about a week or so and to come in and a play off level of intensity and to play 46 minutes wow I mean, that's something to be seen and something that you know there is reasons why this entire team has rallied behind James this regular season and tonight was an absolute difference maker and we saw he was not making hard cuts in that first half he was really unsure of himself I think it took him until the second half for him to figure it out probably Steve Nash to figure out how they would work uh, how they would work him in I thought the Bucks made a mistake not trying to attack him not trying to exploit him because make no mistake about it the Brooklyn Nets said we are going after Brooke Lopez and in that third quarter they exploit him with Jeff Green and how about the after a while they just told Kevin Durant you know what we're gonna inbound the ball to you we're gonna set a high screen make a play and he made plays all night long 20 points in the fourth quarter there were great players out on that court tonight but there is one guy that stands head and shoulders above everyone I'm not talking about because he's seven feet tall <laughs> Kevin Durant I mean we've seen it before that is one of the all-time brilliant performances under the circumstances. Uh, remember, too, a guy that hadn't played really that much this year. You know, two years removed from Achilles surgery, he is all the way back. And it's a statement, again, that he makes in a game like this with so much on the line. You lose this game, you go into Milwaukee, where they've obviously had their struggles. Everything rested on this game and this performance. And what we saw in that third quarter, which carried over into the fourth quarter, was absolutely awe-inspiring. What we saw from Kevin Durant and his teammates. Slow start to this game. Trailed by 14 after one. Got the offense going a little bit in that second quarter, but they still allowed the Milwaukee Bucks to put up 30 points. Then a 38-28 third quarter, and then in that fourth quarter again, as you pointed out, Frank, 20 points from Kevin Durant. Finished with 49, 17, and 10.